So bounce. Okay. <laughs> hey guys, welcome to my brand new series called Cutify DIY, where we show you cute and easy DIYs that will add cuteness to your everyday life. And if you want to be a part of this series, please be sure to tweet me, snap me, or comment down below if you have any ideas or requests, and I will feature and credit your idea in one of my next videos. And today I will be showing you three different designs. And I think my favorite one is this water watermelon strawberry <laughs> the strawberry ice cream and let me know what is your favorite ice cream flavor mine is pistachio and coconut and stretchella and there's so many but pistachio for sure and now let's get started for this DIY you're going to need white air dry clay a round plastic ornament or a round measuring spoon toothpicks acrylic paint and brushes glaze some strong glue and a terracotta pot with the fitting coaster that is usually sold together. This is going to be the lid of the box. First you want to close the hole in the pot if you want to put something small inside, but it is optional. For this step you can either use hot glue or tape it. Next paint the pot in the color of your choice. Add paint to the outside, inside, the rim and later to the bottom part as well. And you can also paint the bottom part of the coaster. And now let everything dry. Once everything is completely dry, start painting small lines in a darker shade of the same color across the pot using a thin brush. Add the lines vertically and horizontally to create a waffle-like pattern. Next you want to create the melting ice cream. Begin by painting dripping lines onto the rim of the pot using white acrylic paint. Add them randomly so some drops are higher than some of the rest. Now let's move on to the main part of the ice cream box. For this step, knit some white air dry clay and place it into the ornament piece. Firmly press the clay into the ornament to create a round shape while distributing the excess clay around the ornament. This is how it looks so far. Next, take a few toothpicks and start scoring the clay from one side to the other. This way we make the clay look like a scoop of ice cream. You can move the toothpicks from another side as well to add more texture. And also repeat the step on the outside part of the scoop. Now you can place the clay onto the terracotta coaster and remove any excess clay around it using a toothpick as a cutting tool. From here we can create any ice cream design we want. You can create more ice cream scoops the same way but using smaller molds for that. Or you can create whipped cream by adding a small piece of clay and then scoring it the same way as we did with the ice cream. For my designs, I also created a small cherry by rolling the clay into a ball, pressing it slightly flat and then by adding small lines on top. And since I wanted to add the stem later, I pressed the toothpick a little bit into the clay to create a hole. If you want to dye the clay, you can simply use a little bit of acrylic paint and mix it into the clay by knitting it. This way you can create any ice cream flavors you want. If you don't want to get your hands messy, I would recommend using gloves for that. But I was too lazy, so I just washed my hands later. Here I was going for a strawberry flavor, that's why I wanted to add a small strawberry on top as well. For this step I shaped some clay into the strawberry shape and then added the details with a toothpick. I also added small clay leaves on top that I attached with a toothpick as well. If you want to be more fancy, you can also create additional waffles. I colored the clay with brown acrylic paint and then used a heart shaped cookie cutter to get the right shape. And then with a toothpick, I pressed in vertical and horizontal lines to create a waffle pattern. I wanted to place it on top of the ice cream, so I created a small polymer clay circle that I scored with some toothpicks and then placed the heart inside. Now remove everything so every piece can dry properly and then let the clay dry until it's completely hardened. Once everything is completely dry and hardened, we can go ahead and add the details. Since I wanted to add some kind of sauce on top of the ice cream, I used a lot of glaze and then mixed it with a little bit of acrylic paint. I used red for strawberry, brown for chocolate and light brown for caramel sauce. Now you just want to carefully let it drip down the ice cream. I also would recommend placing it onto some paper so your desk doesn't get ruined. You can add the sauce carefully to make it look prettier but I just randomly added it because I felt like this way it looks more realistic. And if you want, you can add some sprinkles on top by using small beads. 
Don't forget to paint the fruits as well. I use the leftover strawberry sauce. And for the strawberry details, I used a toothpick and added them on top. When everything is painted and fully dried, we can now assemble the ice cream box. Use strong glue to attach every piece together. I haven't glued on the main ice cream scoop to the coaster as it felt like it was attached properly already. But you can add some glue in between as well, just in case. To create the stem for the cherry, I used a toothpick that I painted into a brown color. And then I removed the excess part. And the ice cream boxes are finished. I think it looks so delicious. And of course you can customize it however you like. And don't forget to tweet me, snap me and comment your ideas for the next episode of Cutify DIY. They can be general ideas or something you found on the internet but are not sure how to recreate it. And if you're going to recreate this DIY, don't forget to tag me on my social media so you can find it with the hashtag LookMako. This way I can find it and also feature you in my next episode of Cutify DIY. Thank you so much for watching guys, have a wonderful day and see you next week. Bye! I feel like every day is a bad hair day for me.